Okay, to make this chair, I'm using uh, inches at one thirty second of an inch. And we're going to start with a box. The box measures 1.25 by 1.25 by 39 inches high. If you use the keyboard entry and you click on create, they will place it right in the center using the left, the top uh, view. Now make sure you have for the uh, segments three on each here. Also the height should be three. Now let's convert this to a poly, to an editable poly. And we're going to move the vertices. Select the vertices and type here. 17.25 inches and you can also do this at 19 inches and now we're going to make a clone for the front legs and we're going to remove the top polygons here we won't need this much now on the back leg We'll move the bottom on the left hand view about 1.25 inches to the left. On the top, we'll move it about a, an inch and a half or maybe inch and three quarters. And also squeeze this, I mean, uh, to shrink it so it looks like uh, tapered. Now we're going to add some segments. We add three segments and we're going to move those vertices the same way to some locations. But to avoid uh, distortion here, we're going to use the constraints to edge. Then we can type the number here. Move this to three inches. Next one is to 4.5 inches and the next one is at 15.5 inches. Let's do the same for the front leg because it has to match exactly as the back leg. Now on the back legs we're going to uh, add segments to the top. So select these edges and uh, with connect add four segments. While this is selected, chamfer them to about one inch. So that's basically our format. Now we can attach the back leg to the front leg and we can begin to bridge some of these uh, braces. Okay, we have to stop here for now and we're going to make the seat. For the seat we need a box at 17 by 18 by 3 quarters of an inch, no segments. Now we can move this to where it should be on top of this brace here. Don't worry about the location of this yet. We're going to move it later. Convert this to a poly. And add two segments here. And also pinch by 83 units. Now 
Now we need to extrude the back of it. Select the back polygon in the center here and extrude them extrude this to about 1.25 of an inch which is the size of the leg now for the front we're going to draw a rectangle that measures about 19.8 inches wide this is just to help us and we're going to center this rectangle and the seat now on the seat select these vertices and move them apart to the size of the rectangle. Now you can remove the rectangle. Now we can chamfer the edges of the seat. On chamfer here, you can look at it closely over here. You can reduce the size here. And this edge can be fixed with the tension, lower the tension, and you can make it as smooth as you want. Okay, that's pretty much for the seat. Let me move this first to the corner here. Make sure you uncheck this and get back to none on the constraints. Then it can move to the right place. Now we apply symmetry. You may need to flip this and move it exactly to the other corner. Now we can convert this to a poly again and connect or bridge the rest of the uh, braces. One thing I forgot to do this, this is another similar chair, is to move these vertices on the top so that you can get a little bit of a semi or half a curve. All right, let's get back to where we were. Now, you, if you want to make these smooth, like uh, with rounded edges, you can select these edges and apply um, chamfer again. Standard chamfer is probably fine for this and you can make it as smooth as you want. You can add another segment here. You know, same thing you could do with the rest of the chair. Just to give you an idea, now I'm going to subdivide these in about um, eight segments because I want to make the back of the chair curved. For this I'm going to use a helper and an arc. I'm going to make an arc. If I drag from this end to the right in a straight line and then without the mouse letting it go completely only one time you pull it back and you create a curve you know make sure it's where you want it to be centered and now we can get back to editing this vertices and we can move the vertices to the edge of that arc <laughs> 